So you booked your tickets to Japan, you're ready to come here, but you know what? It can be pretty overwhelming. We're gonna give you our travel tips to Japan to make your trip a whole lot easier. Ah. Oh. Now what you're going to find in Japan is that public bathrooms are a little bit hard to find. An easy way to find a public bathroom if you really need to go is in convenience stores and convenience stores are everywhere. You don't even have to buy anything, but you can leave something behind. Excuse me. That actually wasn't me flushing, that was me just pushing the button that said flushing sound. Ooh, this seat's warm. I have a question. I want you to describe in the comments section below, if you went into a bathroom in your convenience store in your home country, what would it be like? Would it have a warm toilet seat along with a bidet and flushing sounds? Would it be as clean as this? Please tell me. I'd love to know. I'm sure it's as clean as what we have here. God, I'm so comfortable. I didn't even want to go. That's it for this video. I'm chilling in this bathroom. Now you might find if you're using data roaming on your phone that it dies a lot, mine certainly does. And if you're looking for somewhere to charge your devices, it's not as common as what we're used to in North America. So the place you're gonna need to go to charge your stuff is, bear with me, McDonald's. I know that sounds really weird, but if you have a laptop when you're traveling and you're looking to like dump your memory card and stuff, McDonald's is actually kind of like a workplace in Japan. And it's totally bumping. It is. It's always bumping. Also, if you come to McDonald's, make sure you check out their bizarre specials because Japan is constantly doing like special edition things. For example, cheese bolognese fries. Fries at McDonald's are always dope. From what we've heard, they're the only country that actually fries their fries in fat. I don't know if that's real or just an urban legend. But they taste amazing. I was supposed to have the first mm. bite. Notice how I long. ordered it and oh. it had like one fork? Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. Pistachio. Mm. That's actually really good. Whoa. Ketchup is so 1950. Ketchup, you're, out. Ketchup, you're out. That's sweet and salty and cheesy. Damn. So let's talk about the internet in Japan. When you land in the airport, make sure you pick up either a Wi-Fi hotspot that you could bring with you everywhere you go, or if your phone is unlocked, you could also get a SIM card at the airport. It's roughly around $10 a day for unlimited internet access. Definitely get that. Or if you decided not to get a hotspot or a SIM card, you can go to any Starbucks in Japan for free Wi-Fi. However, it will make it difficult for you to use Google Maps outside of a Starbucks. Google Maps is gonna give you everything you need to navigate Japan. Bus schedules, subway schedules, walking locations to get you to the restaurants that you wanna go to. Oh, what's that I hear? You plan on just leeching off of a network for free while in Japan? <laughs> Good luck with that. And one last thing, if you are in a Starbucks and you have a drink, make sure you finish your drink and throw out your cup in the Starbucks because if you leave the Starbucks with a cup, good luck finding a garbage can anywhere in Tokyo. They just don't exist.
most overwhelming things about being in Japan is using the train system. You know those videos you see online of people like smushed inside of trains with like you their might arms. Get pushed into a subway. Yeah, that's gonna happen. So we're gonna try to show you guys how to get on and off the train. When you line up for the train, line up on both sides of the line. Don't line up in the middle here. And as soon as the train pulls in, you step off to the side. People will get off through the middle, and then once they're all gone. Then it's your turn to get onto the subway, and then you go through the middle this way. Sounds complicated for some people, I know, but just follow that rule and you won't be a jerk. Uh, tomorokushi soup. Uh, small. Hey. Dajobu desu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Before I get on the subway, I like to grab myself a high-quality cup of warm corn soup right here on the subway platform. Sounds weird, but it's delicious. It's like corn on the cob in soup format, and you don't get all the stuff in your teeth and look embarrassing to your friends. What, are you saying getting a cup of soup by myself on the subway is embarrassing to my friends? It's not like my friends watch this anyways. It's not like I have. A lot of friends. Welcome to Tokyo Station. Odds are you will be taking a Shinkansen or bullet train from this station if you're heading out to Kyoto or Osaka or other parts of Japan. And if you are going to be taking a bullet train from here, I highly recommend that you come here an hour in advance yep. at least because Tokyo Station is massive. It's just really massive. And it's very busy as well. There's a very good chance you're going to get lost. And don't be embarrassed about getting lost. Like even local Japanese people get super lost at the station because it's very confusing. But why are we saying the importance of coming an hour in advance? The bullet trains leave on time. On I mean, the like second. To the second. To the second. If your train leaves at 6:02, there's a dude with like a watch. He's like 58, 59, and then the door shut and it leaves. So do not ruin your trip by showing up late, getting lost, and then missing your train. Be punctual. punctual. Be responsible. Be, Be an adult. Get your shit together. I need you to get that shit together so we can... No? Drake? I need... No? It's copywritten. I don't think That'd anyone's gonna... That'd be demonetized. Gonna... This video took a lot of time to make. To... YouTube, don't listen to the song. Just cover your mics. Uh -huh. So that's it for our video on travel tips to Japan and Tokyo. Obviously, we couldn't cover everything there is to know. So mm -hmm. if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. We answer as many questions as we can, or we might just make a video about it. In oh the yeah, future. we can have like part two travel tips to Japan. Who knows? Also, if you guys are hitting up a Shinkansen, a bullet train, make sure you grab yourself an Ekiben before you leave Tokyo Station. What's an Ekiben? Oh. Oh, this is an Ekiben. And if you want to know what's inside of this magical little box, Come with me, click on Martina's video, and I'm gonna teach you all about that. Look, I've got a better option for you. Tokyo Station has a famous vegan ramen shop. I'm gonna have some ramen right now. I think you wanna see that instead. Ramen or whatever the hell this is. Look at all this ramen. magic. What is Pick this? Me. Look at all the seafood. Obviously. Come with me. Pick me. Choose your own adventure. Choose your adventure with Martina. Choose the best adventure with Simon.